Hey guys, this is Cooking with Nathan, and this is Sophia Locke. And today, what are we making? We're making churros with a chocolate ganache. A Mexican chocolate ganache. Unless you're in Mexico, then it's just chocolate ganache. <laughs> You don't have to specify if yeah. you're there, which is yeah. nice. That's not. You tell, uh, you tell the Latin lover back there, it's like, hey, you want to get Mexican food? And he's like, we're just eating food. <laughs> and I was like, you're a dick, but Is that your true. name for him is Mexican? Is, uh, Latin lover? Latin lover, yeah. And it, well, it would be if you ever put out. Oh, my also, God. Also, we'd like to big, give big thanks to Judy. Thank you for sponsoring the show, Judy, and I cannot mm -hmm. wait to see my quilt. Thanks, um, Judy. Yeah, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So, ready to start? I'm so ready to get started. I think we should start with the chocolate nachos. I would love to start with that. Yeah. Then wait, this isn't what I needed out right, right now, right? Nope, didn't need this yet. That's stupid. Why would well, I Why would you do that? I, I was going to say, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know what I'm doing. I this don't know fantastic. anymore. It's dumb. It's dumb. So wait, you started as more of a BDSM performer, right? I did. Yeah. Even before uh, adult work, I was into BDSM. And I had cages in my house and, you know, all that fun stuff. So what you, would you, what got you into doing that harder shit? Um, I think just uh, sex, was, sex was enough for you. <laughs> that was always also enough, but I just wanted that next adrenaline rush, uh -huh. right? So I just wanted the, uh, I don't know, the thrill of. I always liked roller coasters, skydiving, all mm. of that. So that was just kind of an offshoot of that of like, oh, what mm -hmm. else can I do that would make me feel a certain way, you know? Gotcha. So what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in charge here. So here, put yeah. get that. We're gonna do a <laughs> half half cup of heavy cream. Okay, great. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is by uh, by the way, this is the uh, cookbook. All the recipes mostly are going this. Oh, lovely, fancy. You're so uh, fancy. Well, one of the days I'm gonna actually have a cookbook for uh, everyone. I like that. Yeah, let me put my food in you. I'll let you put something in there. Well, that's anyway, going to be that's gonna the name of it. Let me put my food in here? Yeah. I like that. So okay, on your... Cup. Yeah, have a cup. Okay. On the journey to uh, finding yourself sexually... Se sexually? Sexually. Mm -hmm. Sexually. Yeah. Sexually. Yeah. Like, when did you start realizing that you were into, I'm going to say, up being a pain slut? Let's just, let's oh, call it what it is. Kind of in my mid-20s. Mm -hmm. I didn't really understand it before. Um, I had only... Like I like mild spanking kind of stuff. I didn't really understand pain play. And then when, um, yeah, when I tried, I, I like made a friend whose Half teaspoon of vanilla. partner uh, did like made floggers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, I guess I'll try that. Even though I always thought it looked a little bit silly. Mm -hmm. um, this is like patting my head and rubbing my belly. It's so difficult to close yeah, I know. both at the same well, time. Hey, this well, is kind of fun. Do, I like it. Yeah, do Half tablespoon, would half you say? Half teaspoon. teaspoon. Yeah. Half teaspoon. That's not yeah. helping at all. Oh, oh that's Come on. Ah! Come on. Wait, vanilla? Did you say vanilla? Yeah, vanilla. Okay, now I like this cooking show much more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was already having fun, but if you're going to spank me during it, it's great. Um, yeah, so I tried that, and I had always felt like it looked really silly, like people in gimp costumes and all that. Or a teaspoon of cayenne. Oh, my God. And then... Um, uh, I tried it and went, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Like that rush of pain, yeah. of adrenaline. It has to be sexual, obviously. Like I don't get turned on by stubbing my toe. Mm. You no, know? weird. I know. <laughs> I will put cayenne all over your floor. Please don't. Uh, quarter <laughs> teaspoon. I'm just double checking. Quarter teaspoon, yeah. Cayenne. This is cayenne. Okay, cool. How fun. Um, is there any part of you that likes receiving pain? or giving pain? Yes. Wow, that was enthusiastic. Well, it's because I don't get to do it in this fucking job. Yeah, that's like, true. Dude, there's only been, yeah. like, there's been a couple times where a like, girl, like, start choking me. I'm like, fucking go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, just go. Cool. Yeah, I'm like. But it's an adrenaline thing for you, yeah. too, right? Well, also, kind of? like, uh, do you remember me telling you that story um, where a girl started, I was doing a VR scene, the girl was smacking the fuck out of my dick and balls. Yeah. And then she's raking my nipples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was there. I didn't say stop because I would just want to see how much I could take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a part of that too. Yeah. So I, I'm yeah. very much a yeah. same thing with everything else in my life where I'm yeah. like, I'm taking whatever I do to the extreme. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, kind of same. And honestly, I think it's related to like the fitness stuff that you do and that I do where it's like you want to push your body to a limit and see how much you can take. Of course, and, you're then, to and then you add in another person that you're attracted mm. to and maybe you're feeling submissive and yeah. you're like, I want to see how much I can take for him. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, quarter teaspoon, you said? Yes, okay. So, yeah, that's fun. We have some things in common. Isn't that yeah. nice? No, we have a lot of things in common. That's funny enough. true, actually. Oh, and one tablespoon of espresso powder, and this is a Cuban. Tablespoon. There we go. 
just looks like it would be one. Is that a tablespoon? If this one's a half, then this is probably a full. Of what is this? Espresso. Oh, oh nice. It's Cuban espresso powder. Cool. How neat. Hmm. Also, if you want espresso, we have the machine. That is great. I love coffee. Yeah. Speaking of adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> like, Speaking like of amped anything, up. Anything that amps me up. Yeah, right? And that's what this industry is for me now, too. It's yeah. just being amped up. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, that's right? pretty much... Kind yeah. of the same for you, right? Uh, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, just a pinch of that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it was that. Now it's kind of... How do I do a pinch if I'm holding it? So you Help pour me. some in your hand. Okay. Is that, that's that's way, be way more than a pinch. Much. Okay. That. That's a pinch. Okay. You, you didn't do it fancy. It's not a fancy show. It's. <laughs> do you, do uh, you these see neon, this? These neon lights would beg to differ. Uh, do you see the trashy Can I put shirt? This back in here. Yeah, put or it back is that, okay. All right. I don't. I don't know if people want my hands. My hands are clean. They're coming on my show. I just got tested this think, morning. Do you think <laughs> most people <laughs> give a fuck what they want? They're gonna come on and eat the fucking food. Okay. That's just how it is. Uh huh. Uh, okay. okay. Now what we're gonna do? I'm going to turn it on. All right. And we're going to turn this to like a really low because we just needed a, um, a slow simmer. Okay. And then we're going to stir in the 60% uh, cacao. Cacao. I think we're going to use about half that bag. Oh, God. I just got sexual about food. That's know, what yeah. just happened right now. But you I don't usually that? mix it. Do you ever mix food and sex? You want to? <laughs> no, not necessarily, but I'm curious oh. if you like. <laughs> Are you like pour this on me? Really? No, no, no. Wait, wait. You stir this. Stir this first. Stir this first. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Can you be better about that? Uh-huh. Mm. I've mixed food and sex, and it mm. doesn't, it's not very fun. Uh, me. yeah, that's, uh, let's put this down for a second. I just, get, get, uh, let me, uh, Stop I it. just want, okay, fine. So get it off the walls. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And hold that. There you go. There we go. Look at you, doing stuff, <laughs> bangs in places. I'm mildly patronizing, but I'll take it. I'm, I would never. Who's such a good Who's girl, a good girl. stirring <laughs> it? Oh, Who's doing what such was a that, good job? What was that Mad TV thing um, where, uh, stir, 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 look what I can do. Stir it, no. <laughs> look what no, I can do. <laughs> no, stir <laughs> Are we aging ourselves right no, now? By, no, by referencing no, no, yes. Bit? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. I'm stirring it. See? So, yeah. Great. So. When you were out in the job, right? Mm -hmm. Did you ever have like performance anxiety? Um, I get a little bit nervous when it's maybe like a new director and I want to make sure I do a good job yeah. for them. Um, but when it comes to actual sex, I don't get nervous about sex ever anymore, mm -hmm. which yeah. is great. I just get excited. Yeah? Yeah. God, I wish I had that. Yeah, it's tough for guys because you have to make your brain make something else worth it. Yeah. There's a connection there. And for me, if I'm not necessarily in the mood, just throw some lube on it. We're good. Yeah. Right? God bless you. I know. Mm. I, I feel like I used to maybe be a little bit more nervous about mm. sex, but now yeah. I've had so much of it, it like and I just really enjoy it. Yeah. And I like the connection, like, and, and if it's being filmed, that makes it extra hot for me, too. Yeah, because you like being watched. Mm -hmm. I sure do. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I just winked at the camera. It was good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do like being watched, even if it's um, a wholesome cooking show. Mm. True, true. See, I, I'd almost go a step differently than that. It's like, I like talking. <laughs> No, you don't say. Weird, right? <laughs> uh huh. That's the nice thing. Tell me more that I don't know. Yeah, about you. that's the thing about the cooking show, which is nice because I actually have to stop uh -huh. and not talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. That's why I worry about being a, like doing a podcast because I'd be like, oh, I'd have to let other people talk a lot. Well, but I love talking. That's the nice part because you you're doing it and you kind of have to. Yeah, yeah. You do have to kind of fill in the spaces, right? Yeah. So it's like, I, oh, I gotta fill in this part, I gotta fill in this. But there's time, mm -hmm. times like today where it's mm -hmm. don't have to worry about that because I know you can talk. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes great. it work. Yeah. And I enjoy talking to you. So and I just like great. staring at you half the time, so it really works out. Yeah? I like staring at you. Oh, good. What's underneath that shirt? Well, it could be uh, something, but you said you didn't want it off. Because it was going to distract me because mm -hmm. I'm in a mood today. Yeah? A cooking mood. I a just cook love A cooking food. mood. It's a, wholesome. A, a, just a cooking mood. Right? Great YouTube yeah. content. Great. What are you doing there? Oh, God. How am I going to... I'm going to burn myself on something because of that. Okay. <sighs> See, I've always been boy crazy and kind of girl crazy. Like, I couldn't concentrate in school. So mm. this is the perfect industry for me, but it means that at times like these, I'm a little distracted. I don't, I don't know what to do with you. Just, just keep stirring. Okay. Just keep stirring. I'll do whatever you say, really. Cool. Hey, let's get that off the walls. Okay. Yeah. okay. Scratch it off and just try to get all that in there. Okay. Yeah, there you go. 
So wait, you took a little hiatus for a second, right? I retired officially. I thought I was done forever. And wait, how long were you in before you took Seven that? years and a year and a half of that was doing professional shoots. The five years prior was doing camming. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, shit. Well, so you just, I would have just hit your... Uh, 2016 yeah. is when I left. My seventh year was in November. Oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. All right. I thought, yeah. But it's all been professional. <laughs> Yeah. Did you ever do any any like webcam work or anything? You know, like that? I I honestly I did a little bit when I was uh, a little younger. Yeah. Um, but in the I actually did a webcam show twice with Charlie Ford, and then oh, me and Lumi Ray were trying to start doing this one where we cook and fuck at the same time. <laughs> and then, that, is that did that go okay? It, I did. It did not work. Um, <laughs> and then Rocky Emerson showed up randomly, oh, and she's yeah, yeah, like, yeah. "But we all just did lives on our OnlyFans and stuff." Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, so smell. that's. I mean, that is kind of. Smell that. It smells so fun. Oh, it good. smells really good. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, oh. that smells great. Yeah, I um, I had a lot of like FOMO watching stuff where I was like, oh, I want to hang out with Rocky and Charlie and you and like, uh, so fun. And you just meet so many cool people in this industry, you know? Yeah. And then you have sex with them. I know. It's so great. It's really nice. I know, it's really great. And then you make money. Uh, how? How? <laughs> so yeah, the boy craziness and the girl craziness all fed into this for sure. Yeah. So... When did you decide you want to start webcaming? What was that transitional period where you're like, you know what? I feel like I'm boy crazy or girl crazy. Yeah. I'm a little bit of a whore. Let's see how <laughs> I can you know, monetize this shit. So, um, Let's start putting that half that bag of chocolate in there. Yeah. So I, um, I had always been super sexual, but the idea of adult work seemed crazy, right? Like that wasn't my path. Mm. That wasn't something my I remember half. family, yeah, my family would have been okay with. And so it wasn't something I considered. And then I was working here in LA um, mm -hmm. at a, a hotel in Beverly Hills. Okay. And I saw a pop-up ad for, I think it was Live Jasmine, the campsite, right? And, oh. it said, and it said, this woman is live right now. And I said, bullshit, this model looking woman is not live on camera right now. This mm. was 2010. And so I, I clicked on the link, I got curious, and she was live. And so my partner at the time had just been laid off of his job and I was, um, super into BDSM at the time in my personal nope. life. <laughs> I said, okay, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You probably shouldn't have taken off your shirt. Too late. <laughs> Keep stirring. So you get, okay, okay, okay. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Thank I, you, peanut gallery. That's what I get, that's what I get for, <laughs> for being distracted. Um, uh, heavy chocolate. That's what we're going to call it. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? Put a little more. More of the whipping cream in it? A little, little smish. There's the adrenaline rush I wanted. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Splish, splash, we're taking a bath. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, and then Puddles is helping. Puddles doing They're a great not job. Good, not good for chocolate and dogs, though. No, I... Um, okay, I'll keep a better eye on, like, not tilting this back. Um, just keep stirring the fuck out of it. Okay, I will do that. Um... Where was I in my, oh, uh, that I, BDSM. Like, she was, yeah, and then, so I was like, well, it might be a way to, like, make a little extra money. I tried wearing a mask for, like, three seconds, and that didn't, like, do anything at all. Um, so I gave up on wearing a mask, and then I was just doing, like, private chats per minute, and I was, people were paying me for it, and it was so much fun. Um, so I, like, quit my job a couple months later once I realized that it was, like, viable as a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And then stir, never looked stir, back. Stir, stir, stir. stir like this? Yeah, stir. Okay. So we're trying to get those lumps out of there and try to make it a little softer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and then it was just, like, nev I never looked back. Yeah. I think I made, like, 150 or 200 the first day. And okay. I was like, this is amazing! Yeah, and then, <laughs> well, what were you doing before this? Well, so I was working in hotels at front desk. I was making oh. 16 bucks an hour at the Peninsula Hotel in Beverly Hills. And so, like, I was, it was fine, but it was a lot of pressure, and it wasn't, like, as exciting as, you know, like, learning about people's, like, crazy fetishes and mm. stuff, too. So, um, yeah, it was really fun. And that's how I got in. See that, like, liquidy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, separating. Stir, 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 stir. Okay. What is that? What is that? It's just, like, an oil separation? Yeah, it's a, uh, what was it? What were we putting this thing? Uh. It's probably just some of the liquid from the heavy cream. Oh, okay. Or the chocolate. Like the, just the water coming out of some of these things. Interesting. This is, this is way more in depth than anything I ever make or cook. Well, I like, like learned how to cook chicken in my mid twenties. Like it was bad. So this is very exciting. Thank you for showing me. No problem. I, I this is fun because I haven't made a churro in a fucking long time. So yeah? the nice thing about the show is it gets me to go back and do and stuff. Like really learn. Until nothing. like you know I I I got someone. Uh, that's coming on another day, yeah. who I'm like, hey, what do you want to eat? She's like, something savory. I'm like, I'll fucking hit you. 
Why? Like, like, like that's it? Because I know that's very broad. That's like the most broad, like sweet or savory. I did, I did say I wanted a dessert, and then I like Googled some stuff and was like, yeah. this is what I want, you know. Like. So. That's good. I feel like churros are a treat, right? They're like a Disneyland treat. It, well, it's apparently it's a. Mm -hmm. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Mm. Why is it making the. No worries. We're going to let it set for a second anyway. All right. Huh? <laughs> Probably. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so now what we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to make the sugar. Okay. Oh, make the, like dip it in, like the cinnamon sugar? Yeah. Okay, cool. Sweet. So here's that. I love sugar. Now you do. Yeah. Um, and now here's the thing I was finding uh, interesting yesterday. Yeah. You want to use coconut sugar or raw, uh, raw K sugar? I don't care, the raw one probably, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, because I don't love coconut water or coconut. What I... Have you tried this? No, I mean, I'll try anything. I know. Make your fingers together. Oh, that's delicious. Huh. It's, mm -hmm. it's a different flavor, right? Yeah. So what I'm thinking about doing? Okay. Put, uh, it's supposed to be a half cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. So let's do a quarter of one and a quarter of the other. Okay. Problem sure. solved. And then? I'm just getting whipping cream all over everything because it still has some. Though. I'm making a mess. Yeah, you are. And but then I usually is... clean up my mess. Yeah, well, I've seen you do it. Have you? Yeah. Oh, it was mostly off nice. my dick, but. Uh, uh, teaspoon, of, uh, teaspoon of cinnamon, too. That's true. Uh, and a teaspoon of cinnamon? Yeah. Okay. It's so hard to like concentrate on this and talking and. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why I started the show? Because I, I've been doing that for so long, I'm like, yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. it makes people nervous. I'm just like, mm, go yeah. eat. Yeah. Anyone like nervous? The only time I start, I start Teeth fucking that up, mm -hmm. is when I'm plating. Oh, okay. Then Plating's yeah. when I'm like, shut up, don't, don't breathe, don't, don't breathe. So I worked in restaurants uh, in like my early twenties, and I worked in like fine dining when mm. I was doing real estate during my hiatus. And mm. so, I liked food service. I never was near the kitchen though. That yeah. Terrible. It's you don't, uh. You don't want me near there. Clearly, because I'm already sick of like shit. Let's try that bitch up. Yeah. Yeah, get that leg. Just, just get that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you helping? Yeah. Yeah. Just do it like that. Are you jerking off my forearm, baby? Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna come with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of my fingertip. Fat. Fat. Uh, yeah. If you ever fat. hear me doing that voice yeah. in a scene, know yeah. that I've given up. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. when I'm gonna fuck you harder. <laughs> You're like, you really like a hand over your mouth, right? Aren't you into that? Speaking of that, what are some of the weirdest sounds you've heard out of people? Oh, that's a really good question. I haven't heard too many weird sounds, honestly. I think the sounds are okay. It's more of the fetishes that are weirder. Let's go on that then. Yeah. Um, oh. Like uh, the famous one is Cheese Guy, right? The one that wants slices of cheese all over your body. What? But it has to be, it has to be the, um, like the craft Singles. It can't be like Gouda. It can't be anything like that. Fucking weirdo. Six tablespoons. No. Uh, six tablespoons of butter. You know what though? Like mm. you can be into whatever you're into as long as it's like consensual and there's no. No, no, like, I don't. I don't give a fuck about you that. Know? It's just the craft singles. That that that's the part. That's the weird part. Not the naked, cheese all over naked bodies. I no, dude. Everyone's got their own thing. I don't want to judge yeah. someone for that. I'm just saying, hey, I'm gonna what? judge you on your food choices. Yeah. Because I can judge you on and that. Here's the tablespoon mark. See, I know this that there's tablespoon oh, no, marks here. No, no, no. Here. Just literally. See where those are? One, yeah. two, three, four, yeah, five, six, I mean. and just cut it. Yeah. yeah. You said six, three, yeah, four, six. Five, six. Okay. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six. What do you think is your weirdest fetish? Um. Well, if people ask me all the time. My fucking thing is like, I want to. So much butter. I want to do something like something that no one else will do for you. Okay, want, and that's like a, it like makes so, you feel special. No, kind of? it's like is it's that, something about like doing something no one else will do for you, and then now it's always gonna be in your brain as I'm the one who did that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. Because so that's then, like so it doesn't matter kind of how extreme it is. It's no. just that you are the one who did it yeah, and like, you're willing to do. I have so much butter on my hands. I don't know why I just wanted to. Okay, I can yeah. do. All right, thanks. Um, yeah. So the the idea of yeah, stick that bad boy in there. 
So the idea of doing something where it's like no one else would do, like I've had girls who wanted like rape fantasies where like it's like CNC where they I chase them around the house and they don't get away from me. Yeah. Yeah. And and I'm like, yeah, I'll fucking do that because no one else will. It's like as yeah. long as we get video of you saying yes and yeah. you have good words and mm -hmm. you can verbally say you don't want something, yeah, totally fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. That's a fun one. What about you? Uh, I mean, CNC is up there. Right? Yeah. Consensual and consent's up there. Um, I, God, what's a weird one? So, turn that bitch on. Gotta okay. go all the way down to the bottom. And like, click, let it hit, click hit, on? Yeah, click it, keep going. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's on. So and let's get to about halfway. Okay. Like there? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, right there, let, let that shit melt. Cool. Let me get you a cup of water. God, what is, I don't know what's weird, because I've tried so many things now that I don't even, it's like, I did like a waterboarding scene once. It was like breath play stuff. That was kind of fun. Yeah. 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 Uh, but like fear, adrenaline, pain. But then honestly, just like connection is really nice too. Dude, <laughs> so you, I think that's the thing about this job that yeah. you find a lot where it's like, oh, what do you, what, what's your fantasy? What's just honestly, someone who just really wants to have sex with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. like that, I can actually enjoy being around. Right. That that's definitely a big thing. But like. Especially when you work a ton and you have to like open up for the camera, you're kind of far away from people. Yeah. So like I used to be like, oh, doggy is my favorite position, and now I'm like real close up missionary. Yeah. Like just get oh, all dude, up. Dude, I just want to be here and just just hear like, you what? breathe. I just, or just like making out with your neck and just like, oh yeah. god, no, love that's that. Great. Like that body contact is so nice after you've done so many things where like the person's over here and you're down here and you're focused on this. And or like, even having things where just a person like touches you a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like if I'm fucking, mm -hmm. I don't feel anything all of a sudden I'll just do this. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Or just having those intimate moments with someone who's not yeah. dead, which is. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't usually have those issues. But yeah. It sounds like, yeah. Always, oh, always. That's so sad. <laughs> so once this uh, melts, we're going to put the water in, then we're going to do one teaspoon of salt. So if you want to get all that shit ready. Sure. One teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon, or one and a half tablespoon of a sugar. Teaspoon of salt. Is this the right one? This the kind you want? Mm -hmm. Teaspoon of salt. Okay. But yeah, that it, like, so that's always been a, uh, a thing for me. It's just like, see, I just like, connection. Yeah, I want that connection, yeah. you know? Because I don't get how people get hookers. Oh, yeah? Huh? I mean, well, I unless, mean, unless there's a certain certain way where it's like, like, let's say, like, put it different. Yeah, let's say me and you are hanging out and you're like, yeah. I just want to see you fuck the shit out of a girl. Yeah. Right? And so you get want to do that with a hooker? Yeah. Fucking down. Yeah. Just call a girl, whatever. Yeah. Um, super down. But like, the the disconnect with uh, with that yeah, of yeah. like not knowing that they actually want to be there. Yeah, it's like, too, I, I get to work with girls all the time who don't want to fucking be there, so let alone, yeah. it's like, I, want, I want someone to want it. <laughs> yeah, but the, I mean, that's something that not everybody can get easily, and so I think the idea of like having a service where, you know oh, what I mean? Like, I'm not all talking of that's about lovely. them. I agree yeah, yeah, yeah. it should be a thing. I don't, yeah. I'm not saying You about, personally. I'm saying personally yeah. for me, I want to feel like someone wants to be there. Yeah. You know? Well, and that, I mean, I think that's part of the fantasy of like hiring somebody is like, that's what they're going to do is be like, hey, I want to be here. I want to be with you. And so they can kind of get lost in that fantasy. But I don't know how people get lost in that. Yeah. And I, I've also, would... I've also been around enough girls who can't act. Like, <laughs> 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 All right, let's, uh, let's put that water in there. Water in? Okay. What is it that we're making now? What we are making now? the actual dough. Oh, fun. Yeah. Oh my God. How, how cool. Okay. Yeah. So the Great. salt, and then we're going to do one and a half tablespoons of sugar. Drop. Just, don't tell me. just fucking, shh. just get open. Pick I'm up the cutting board. Shh. I'm hiding things from Nathan oh, now. It's not doing a very good job. I know um, I'm not, because I'm whispering really loudly. You know we're mic'd. <laughs> okay. I, you said put in the salt. Yeah, put the salt in. Okay. All right. Now okay. the uh, sugar. I don't remember what we're doing with sugar. We're, we're putting sugar in there. I know that, but one how half much? But tablespoon. How much? One half tablespoon. Yeah. Um, let's go and use. No, let's do brown sugar. I like brown sugar. Okay. I love brown sugar. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. That's a sexual new under too. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go. I will make anything sexual. I'm really good at that. Oh. Good. I don't know if you've noticed that about me. I didn't notice. That. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. There's a lot of. You smell like a winner. <laughs> do I? Yeah. You go. What are you smelling? This part. Full things. Uh, um, then we're doing two ta teaspoons of vanilla. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. So, have you had any issues with fans just being like too extreme? No. 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 You want lucky ones? Yeah. I don't. Know. I don't know. You said two. Yeah. Two. I'm so worried about getting the wrong measurements. Um, I <laughs> haven't, but I also. Like, I'm very transactional in my, like, adult work. I'm like, if you want a video, here's your video. Mm. Like, I'm not like, hey, but maybe you and I, like, at yeah. some point. 
to trying to get money out of people, right? Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't push that, so I don't get like that kind of stalkery. I'm like, if you want to watch me be slutty all over the internet, mm -hmm. here's where you can do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. I'll stir this bitch up. Okay. Stir it. Stir it. Stir the bitch up. Smack my bitch up. Uh, wow, wow, or that. Brow, brow, brow. That works too. All right. Let me clean off this fucking. No, there's nothing that won't sweep. Yeah, it's just the. No, it's gonna be real fun. What's gonna be? Real? Watching you crack eggs. I can crack an egg. Yeah, but can you crack it and not get the yolk in there? Yeah, egg whites. I do egg whites all the time. Look at you. I can do that. You're so fancy. Now I'm saying that, now, and I'm gonna fuck it up. We'll see. There's too much pressure. See, like I don't get nervous when I have sex on camera, but you make me cook, and then I'm actually not nervous at all. Mm. I'm fine. There we go. Do you remember when we when we worked together the first time? Yep. On all the fights. Yeah, I do. Remember we were fucking you twice there, then taking you back to your house and fucking uh -huh. you multiple times there? Yeah. All uh, right, let's throw one cup of flour in there. Sure, great, I would love to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that was that was a fun day. Yeah, that was a very nice two days for me. Yeah, I think that's the only time someone's actually been able to have sex with me during like um, like a wrestling. Shoot. I've heard that about a lot of, like, like yeah. I, apparently I do very Just well one. on that. Yeah, one cup. Okay. Yeah, because it's so hard to keep your dick hard while you're wrestling. Which, I don't know what yeah. that says about me. Um, and I you, think it says And this is just stir and stir, and you're going to try and make almost a ball of flour. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I think it says that you are uh, into the kind of things that I'm into. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, what do you know about that, huh? Yeah. No, it was fun to struggle a little bit. I yeah. liked it. Yeah? I did not beat you at wrestling. No. I haven't beaten anybody at wrestling. I can't beat anyone at wrestling. Keep stirring. Keep stirring. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm still, still stirring. Yeah, because you want to get all that white out of there. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, uh, this is a great like texture and consistency. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, you're about to see how easy this is by the end of it. Cause all you gotta do now, after this part, mm -hmm. is literally put three eggs and one egg yolk in there. Okay. And stir that up. Then we bag it, and then we start deep frying. Fun. Yeah. 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 You say easy, but we we put a lot of things in here, and that makes it seem hard to me. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna keep working on this chocolate while you're stirring that up. Okay. Great. Because it's great. separating a smidge. Mm. And I don't, do you like really dark, dark chocolate? I like dark chocolate. Yeah. I, when it starts to get above like, I think 75, 80%, I get a little bit, it's too bitter. But I like dark chocolate. Yeah. I'm more of like a gummy, sour, sweet person than chocolate, but mm -hmm. I like chocolate, you know? Okay. Um, are you a sweet or salty or savory? savory? All day. Yeah, really? Yeah. So you'd rather have like some mashed potatoes than some candy? Oh, fuck yeah. What? I want mashed potatoes and steak. Okay, okay. Uh, well, honestly, it's like, if I could, bread and butter. Oh. Uh, uh, just, yeah. just, just watch these abs melt just away. Just go away. Just yeah, I know. Fuck Same, em. I have to be kind of careful. Um, so now that's, that's where we want it. Yeah, it See great. how the consistency? Yeah, So we're gonna great. move this over here, there. Okay. And now, crack three eggs. Okay. Here's the trash. Crack Thanks. three eggs, dump them in there. Sure. Sweet, that's where it is. How'd your parents react when you uh, started doing this? Um, so I kept it a secret for about a year and a half oh, um, when I was doing camming and just said I was doing like drop shipping affiliate stuff for comic books and okay. websites. And then when- um, Do you know how to do this? So no no the the yolk so you gotta dump the egg white the the egg white. It's just the yolk. Yeah, oh just I the see yolk. okay got it thank you because I'm used to like cooking egg whites. Yeah. So thank you for grabbing me um, before I went into my like normal mode. Um, there we go. Look at that. Oh that does look great. Okay good I was getting a little. I just put a little more uh, <laughs> I put a little more um, stuff in there. Am right, I so, stirring this in? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stir it and it's gonna make it look like the dough's breaking. Just keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Okay. Just keep stirring. Okay. But go on about your parents. Oh, go, go on about your uh, parents. Um, so I kept it a secret for a year and a half, and then I sent my mom a webcam so I could tell her kind of face to face, which the irony was not lost on me that I told her about my webcaming on a webcam. And at first it seemed okay, but I hit her with a lot. It was like, I do this for work, and also I'm, up. I'm bisexual, and also. <laughs> oh, fuck me. You got um, like that uh, cayenne in there? Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. yep. Woo! Yeah, no, yeah, that's got a kick. Jesus. Um, White people. I know. Um. <laughs> I'm such a baby with that. Um, 
So I was like, also, so I do uh, adult work and I'm bisexual. Also, I'm into BDSM. And it was kind of a lot at first. Why would you tell your mom you're into BDSM? I don't know. Because I was so tired of hire, like hiding everything for a year and a half, you know? Like, but I, like, I... I do a bunch of shit I don't tell my parents. For like, sure, but it was like part of my, that's what I did online. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and so But it's like, like well, if my dad knows I fuck for money, I don't think he's really gonna care about the other crap. Hey, you know what I love, mom and dad? I love telling girls that I wanna breed them. Okay, I didn't go into details <laughs> about my fetishes. <laughs> Kinda, you did. No, I didn't. BDSM is a blanket thing. But anyway, yeah. so at first it seemed okay, and then it was not okay, and then uh, yeah, I was basically like disowned for it. Yeah, still. And, uh, yeah, still. Yeah. And uh, my dad was like not stoked on it, but also was like, well, you seem happy and in control of your life, and you can do whatever you want. So yeah. that's how that worked out. But Thanks, I'm Papa. still yeah, still close to my dad, and I don't talk to my mom anymore. Gotcha. So. So. I know, happiness. Didn't but go great. It didn't go great. No, it didn't go great. And I think it's just, I think it's really tough for people to separate, like, sex work is bad and exploitive and, like, um, embarrassing and socially not okay mm. with this is my child. Mm. And instead of saying, hey, maybe I'm wrong about sex work, I think it was like a, oh, this isn't the child I raised. There's yes. something wrong with her. And yeah. so that kind of made it so you just couldn't, like work those together. And, so. and were you close to your family? Yes, very close. And so when, you're, when your mom did that, like, w what were the steps you did to like kind of, because I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who think about getting into this kind of career and think about the yeah, stuff. And that's yeah. something that could happen to 50% yeah. of them, maybe more. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it is because some a people huge actually, social stigma. Yeah. Some people actually like their parents. Yeah, um, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I really did. Yeah. I got along really well with my mom. Um, and I didn't think that it was even a possibility that I could be disowned for it. I knew that she wouldn't be happy, but I didn't think that was possible. But it was just such an embarrassment. Um, I have like a very successful, smart family, and mm -hmm. the idea that I would choose to go in this line of work was against everything that I was apparently raised to do, even though I was raised to be like strong and confident, and yeah. I actually channeled it into this and You're was strong, successful at it. You're independent redhead woman. Yeah, <laughs> not actually redhead. Um, I'm so sorry. No, I know. I'm too honest with everyone all the time. I'm sure we see these little chunkies in there. Yeah. Yeah. But that's 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 where we want to be. That's a. It looks great. Yeah. That's what what, what do you call that? That's um uh like almost a fudge. No, fudge would be thinner. Yeah. Or like, like a, a taffy. taffy. A taffy. Yeah. Taffy. taffy. Like. It'd be like a taffy kind of thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So how do you deal with it? Because like your family just therapy. Like therapy. So yeah. much therapy. Yeah. And it wasn't really so much of an issue until I got into another relationship. And then was like, oh, I actually do have some trauma for this. Because if your mom can leave, then anyone can leave. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so then that's what you deal with, right? Gotcha. Is you just make sure you have a really strong sense of self and mm. identity mm. and that you feel good about yourself. Um, and that, unfortunately, you just think it's it's her loss. But I've, I've left the door open if, there, if she ever wants a relationship with me. Mm -hmm. But now I know that her love's conditional. Isn't that sad? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hey guys, this whole story is brought to you by Chiros. Chiros. Parents can be, parents come and go. Chiros are forever. forever. Disneyland knows what's up. Yep. Yeah. 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 I went to Disneyland a lot as a kid too. So it's really nice. Yeah, well, you were a California person. So yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah, I grew up in Southern California. Yeah. So. I pulled the sword out of the stone when I was like fucking ten. I Did you really? Oh, that's so cute. It comes out another fucking couple inches. Yeah. It doesn't come out all the way because they don't want a fucking kid swinging around. Sometimes a sword. all you need is a couple of inches. Right, is that good? Okay. I never heard that. <laughs> um, that was good. <laughs> okay. Oh, fucking life. Um, I know, so, right? Yeah. So heavy. what we're going to do is we're, we're going to start the, oh, everyone's favorite, deep frying part. Oh, so, no. How tight, how's, how's this? It's good. Did you say how tight it was at first? Is no. that what you did? <laughs> no. no, no I, I wouldn't. Where's your brain? I, I wouldn't say that. No, I just want to be inside you. Um, excuse me. So this is uh, something yeah, I think you, uh, you uh, everyone in this job's experience, right? Right. Um, how do you deal with, because I know everyone on the show has seen this before, mm -hmm. how do you deal with male performers when they don't work? When they are broken that day? Oh. Because if you've watched a show more than yeah. once, you've heard me say stuff, and I just want to know from a performer who's been in for quite some time and is mm -hmm. as gorgeous as you, how do you deal with it? Because does it ever affect you thinking like, oh, is it me? Is it this? It is that? doesn't. It doesn't affect me in that way. Um, I feel like confident enough in what I've done and the feedback I've gotten mm -hmm. that, and and the way that they react to me that day. Typically, when I work with someone, they're like happy to be there with me, excited about it. So, which is really nice. So, if the if you know, 
their dick doesn't work for whatever reason that day, the overwhelming feeling that I have is like concern for their feelings. Mm -hmm. That's my first thing is like, oh, this must be so difficult. I hope they don't spiral because of it. And then if there's anything I can do, yeah. then I'm there to help with that, right? Like, so for me, and then, and then after that, there's like a mild like, ooh, I hope we can get through the scene together. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, I'm, I'm more concerned about what that does to like the male ego and like them that day oh, than I it. am right than I am about like oh man I wanted to get booked like mm -hmm. I don't feel that way I feel like ah okay we got this like although it is a little bit deflating to like be going and going and going with like giving head for example and it like not working there's a little moment of like should I is there something I could be doing differently like a, a moment of that but it, I don't take it as like a personal Personal. A front, or yeah. you know, um, which good for you for not doing that. Yeah, do people uh, take it that way? I mean, you say you've talked about this on the show sometimes. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it, it usually depends on how new the person is. Interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember like a long time ago, I was doing a scene for Team Skeet, and this Latino girl, I think it was like like one of her newer scenes, yeah. and I just it was just not my day. It's just not bad it. day. Yeah, yeah, and. Like, so I'm trying to work it, and she's like, is it me? Is it me? Like, she started oh, crying, no. and I'm like, no, could you just shut up, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah there's days like that, and... Well, uh, and I know just sometimes, like, your body is just not, or if you've, like, shot a lot, or, you know, it just sometimes just doesn't... Yeah, because some days you're just not horny. I still gotta be going to work, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. Luckily, like, the filming part gets to me, so even if it's not, like, who I would have picked as my co-star or whatever, yeah. like, I can get into that, or I can find something that to connect with, or... Like the fact that it's going out on the internet for everybody, I, that turns me on. So mm -hmm. that makes it like easier for me. But at least I don't have to make a penis work, you know? Yeah, it's, it's I just, it's <laughs> I just need to be there and but, try and be connected. So what what is your like go-to things you go through when you, that something like that happens, you know? Um, trying to be as reassuring as possible and also like letting them know that we're a team. Mm -hmm. Right, and that like whatever I can do, like whatever your thing is that you need that yeah. helps you get hard, I'm happy to do it off camera. Yeah, you know, because I'm I'm like there with you in it. Um, and then after that, it's like you can kind of tell if the guy wants to be left alone and do something quietly while other people talk, or if they want the silence. Mm. Or so I just kind of go that direction, and then hope it doesn't like get into a bigger problem. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, because people get in their heads and it's tough. It's, it's, it's got to be so tough. It's really weird trying to get out of your head. Yeah. Um, but you know, actually, I um, I heard a girl bring up like the closest the girls are going to get to that is like doing anal and fucking it up or like oh yeah or, or like, like you squirting bleed from that mm -hmm. or like yeah or like you can't squirt or whatever it is yeah yeah, you yeah. Know, so you I don't really do either so I'm yeah, all right yeah so if you can basically what I do yeah so that hold it down and you just open that up and start dumping it in. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, but I find that being a very interesting place for uh, women in this job is because, like, like every guy's outside. Oh, I never fail. I never do this. But it's like you're oh going to. Oh my god. Yeah. No. You're it's going just to. it's just gonna happen. And then is there a certain point where you then worry about job security if it happens enough times? Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Every okay. I know every time I've fucked up a scene, that's the only scenes I ever think about. Yeah, it's like, am I going to get hired by this yeah, person? Because yeah, because every there were a dime a dozen, every dozen, doesn't matter how big you are, it's like you can yeah. lose your job very quick because of that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always something to think about. Because that is the that is the priority. So it's like now I don't really have a lot of nerves going on to set. Yeah. Um, but like I would imagine that if you have even failed once, then every single time you're like, is it going to happen this time? Yeah. Is there that in your head, in the back of your head when you work? Oh, every time. Yeah. Dude, like, uh, what was it? Sean Alf asked me one time. He's like, <laughs> he's like, hey. Do you still get nervous? I'm like every fucking time. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it doesn't stop. It does. It's always. No, no matter how many good scenes you have, yeah. like there still is. The... Because you remember all the bad ones. Right. Like that's and, what sticks in your and head. And of course, that might be me with my ADD and like how I how I just kind of work through my life because I'm very much, I fucking hate failure. Yeah. And sure. I hate doing that. So I'm, I'm sure you're almost the same way with that. Yeah. I, I, I am a people pleaser, especially when it comes to like performing and doing a good job. Like I want people right. to... So let's do this so it doesn't... Let's uh, save that oh. for a second. Okay. So what I want you to do is yeah. just kind of like hold the tip on that and kind of like just pinch the tip. <laughs> just uh, just for a second so we can uh, get, let this get up to a high enough heat. Okay, What are what's the temperature we're, we're going to go to? for 375. That's get you. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Not as hot as you. Oh! Oh, so good. Damn. You make we're, me feel so good. It's I'm going nice. to bring my uh, spatchcocking scissors out. Yeah. 
I don't know what that means, but it's uh, sounds Spatchcocking, uh, this is a fun fact. I'm gonna make an example on you. Spatchcocking, if you were, you're a bird, let me turn you around, because you'd have no head and uh, your what? asshole's uh, dug out. Don't worry about this. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up the side of your spine uh -huh. and rip that out. And then okay. I'm gonna flatten your body out so I'll be breaking the ribs yeah. and so you cook evenly. Um, similar, if you're into anything medieval and torture, what they okay. would call blood eagle in uh, Nordic uh, torture mm -hmm. devices. Mm -hmm. uh, they, but except they would they would break the ribs right here and splay them open so it looks like angel wings and they pull your uh, your guts out and hang them out like that. Yeah. So I shouldn't be turned on is what you're saying. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. Did you ever go to the, the medieval like torture museum things outside of medieval times? No, I didn't and they know they had, had like, one. They had all of the like the different implements and devices and stuff. It's fascinating Dude, to me. Dude, one of my favorite things to learn about, and this is gets on more and more side, it's seeing how humans w kill each other. <laughs> it is. It, I'm so happy to be next to really hot oil next to you right oh, now. Oh yeah, this is so great. But like, like yeah. even thinking that, it's like there's people like during the medieval times or like the yeah. the Salem witch trials yeah. or the just any of those points in life yeah. where we have to figure out how to keep people alive for a long amount of time. Yeah but put as much pain on them yeah. so they answer questions. Is that related to you pushing your body as much as possible? To probably. see how much you can take? Yeah, yeah. probably. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I find all that stuff fascinating and like true crime and serial killers, mostly because I don't understand like the mindset. So abnormal psych has always been really interesting to me where I'm like, I have so much empathy that like I don't get it, but then there's a little bit of like that fear thrill mm -hmm. too to like find out what people are actually capable yeah. of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah, I, it's like, Saying you couldn't understand it, I think everyone could understand at one point or another why you would. I know, but, the, but, but, I've, here, but I've never had the desire never, to like, never. Never wanted to murder anyone. No, never. Never. Ever. Dude, I have had times on the freeway where I thought about murdering everybody. Never. Everyone. Never. Yeah. I've also, I've never wanted to like harm myself. I've never wanted to harm like other people. Oh, I've, what are you talking about? You want to harm yourself all the time. Well, I mean, I want other people to harm me. Mm. But, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> but that's just adrenaline. It's not like a deep self-loathing. No, it's know? like, th th I think this was, uh, uh, what, as a Bill Burr said, had a great yeah. thing where he's like, this is what makes the psychos from the functioning psychos. You know, it's like yeah. <laughs> you're driving a car, see a bunch of people, and it's like, turn left, I hit a bunch of people, I'm on news. Stay right here, I'm going to work. You know, it's like, Ooh. it's just that little bit of like, Ooh. I don't want to do that. That's terrible, you know? No, I, I could imagine, yeah. but I'm not going to. Yeah, but I'd, I'd rather get notoriety by just having sex on camera. I don't need yeah. to hurt anybody. Yeah. yeah. yeah well. Although I did do my first femdom shoot, so I did hurt Ooh, somebody. Ooh, ah! how was that? It was interesting. I was a little bit nervous. Who's but that? I, Micah Martinez, who's wonderful. Uh, what's, that, what's that one famous one in porn that everyone works with? I can't remember. He was a he was amazing. Like he like he er, he was helping a girl who's submissive yeah. be a dominate, do yeah. dominant. He's like, okay, honey, just do it like this. And so as soon as she starts spanking, he's spanking. He's like, oh, okay. and I was like, and I'm sitting there trying to laugh because yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. funniest fucking yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. A sub teaching a chick how to be a dominant to be a person. Do yeah, it was yeah, yeah, so yeah. good. That is adorable. Yeah. yeah. No, it actually went pretty well. I feel oh. like, I think all my like step mommy right, uh, dommy shoots have helped. Let's start putting them in. What do I do? So, I what do. so what you're gonna do is you're gonna you want me to show you how to do the first one? Sure, yeah, do so, the first one. This is what you're gonna do. Also, can you get that spider? What? See the, this thing right there? Oh god, <laughs> you scared that. me. This. Yeah. Okay. I thought you meant an actual spider. No, no. So watch. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do small ones. Okay. So. Oh. Okay. So that's what you're gonna do. Oh, I see, and then this is gonna pick it up, okay. Yeah, and so basically what's gonna happen now uh -huh. is they're gonna fry on one side, and you know, like you've, you've been Disneyland, you've seen a churro, right? Yeah, yeah. You know the dark the dark color you want? Yeah. That's what you want. Okay. And so it's like, everyone's seen, oh, well, if you're in California, everyone's of gonna fucking, don't leave that, maybe not everyone's gonna Disneyland. Everyone's seen a fucking churro. So just once it gets in there for a little bit, you'll start seeing it kind of get brown, you can flip it over, but okay. I'd say wait a second longer than you need to, than you think you need to, okay. just to kind of get to that spot. How exciting. Yeah, right? But it's, cool. it's literally this easy. It's like you pull them out, you stick them on this, let them drain for like two seconds, and you stick them right in the sugar. And then you, and then you like yeah. toss them in the sugar. Yeah, this doesn't seem easy to me because there's so many ingredients. No, it wasn't. There, and you put heat on things in three separate pans. No. There's like, do there's the, this. And no. I just mean your perspective is well, that you do really complicated This is things. not that complicated. And this is not that complicated for you. Yeah, once you, you know, once you get my all telling uh, cookbook, you can actually do it yourself. That's so great. Yeah. So what did you said words? 
Was. But I got distracted. Mm -hmm. God, you just would look so good with my hand around your throat. Yeah, I mean, you know. So good. That's my so, you favorite. know, friends. Necklace. Friends. 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 We do friend stuff. Yeah, we what do. Was that a question? Was it? Uh, what's the grossest thing you ever seen on set? I'm sure you got stories. I don't really. I mean, everything's been pretty like normal. You know, it's funny you talked about how you can tell when a girl is new, and I heard this recently too, where like. Um, when you have like something on you, like toilet paper on mm. you or like a little lint on your butt or like something like that. And someone's like, oh, let me grab that for you. You can tell how new a girl is by how embarrassed she gets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and like, I'm just like, bah, there's something there. Get it. Thanks. You know? Oh, dude. <laughs> where we're like close up on eating the pussy and there's like, oh, let's get that white speck. That's still yeah, 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 like, sure. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, like, it's not a big deal. Or, or, Bodies do things. Yeah, or it's like, hey, do you want me to, I don't know, fucking get that sponge out for you? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the best. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. Bless the men who will get let's sponges see if we can try out. To flip it. Okay. About all oh, they're hard. That's what she said. Okay. Yeah, so we could have probably left it a little bit longer, but we can flip them again in a second. Yeah, okay. How oh, cool. Oh, look at you making churros. Look at me making churros. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's fun. It's very cute. Yeah. So let that go for a little longer. Yeah. No what is the weirdest thing that you've had to do on set? I, I, I've said this a handful of times. It's probably the one where uh, Lee Raven got the uh, meat hooks through her knees, hung upside down. We face fucked her for thirty minutes. Oh my god! So that yeah, was that's that up was there. one. Yeah. That's um, up there. Other times it's just like random shit. You're fucking girl in the ass, and you try to clean off your dick because there's like green liquid on there, yeah. and she just goes right for it. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, trooper. I've, I've had times where it's like there's so much fucking. Oh no! One of my oh good one. Cherry pimps. I'm yeah, doing yeah. cherry oh, pimps. I'm scene. shooting for them next week. I think. Yeah, as a woman. Yeah. It's a boy girl, so maybe. Did you ask for me? No, I didn't ask for anything. I just said, boy, girl, I said, go. You should have asked for me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, anyway. Um, I kind of like it when it's a surprise, though, too. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Cherry Pimps it was doing a scene, right? Yeah. Live. And we're almost... Oh, we're, it's live. Yeah, we're doing... It's the last 10 minutes, right? Okay. And we're doing a thing where I'm fucking a girl. She's facing the camera, right? So I'm behind her just fucking her because you can do that shot. Yeah. It's cool. They love it. Yeah, great. And I am just looking down and just said, <laughs> blood. No, and it's, it, and it, was it? It's vaginal? not. Yeah. Okay. And it's not like a little amount. Like, yeah, it, and it's it's, you know, if this girl was fucking just, and it was anal, and she's bleeding that much, she's like, whatever. Like, yeah, 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 she's yeah, that dead to the lot. world. Yeah, that would. But been I'm like lot. this. I'm looking down, like shit. And I just look at the, I look at the camera, and look at Brent. I'm yeah. like, hey, get close up on her face. Yeah. I'm like, cool. I'm like, do, 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 like, get me yeah, some napkins. And so yeah. they, I'm like, they get me baby wipe. I'm, hmm, sure, sure. and yeah. I go over here, get a sponge. Lube it up, shove it in there, nice. fucking clean her up, and I'm like, I only need her to, f I need to fuck her for a second because if I get to five minutes, then I, I can just jerk myself yeah, off yeah, yeah. and come. Yeah, yeah. But like, there was so much blood, and wow. I was able to make it work. In this the is thing. what I mean by like the teamwork thing. Oh though. yeah, it's like you're in it as a team. It's like when the guy is like holding you in reverse, mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, now you're getting a bicep workout, but you're helping me out. Yeah. Like I'm always like, fucking good looking out. Well, man. And, and like, it's also you gotta remember, like the problem with doing that is if you do it for too long and you're not helping enough the blood is going to leave my dick. Oh, that's true, too. Mm. Interesting. So, yeah, whatever right, guys uh, can do. Yeah, let's see what these look Wait, like. We're, we're going to... Okay, I'm grabbing things. Yeah, but it's like, there's certain days, like, I know you have to work with smaller guys. Right, I do a lot of, like... Yeah, let's, um, just, let's just leave them the way it is, because I, just want, I want them darker than this. Yeah, that's yeah. what... Yeah, I'm just, yeah. like, flipping so that yeah. they're darker. Um, I work with a lot of, like, younger guys, because I'm the stepmom, yeah. so, and they want the, like, very, like, s like, smaller, not as muscular, like, look like teenagers, basically. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it's so uh, there is like more work that I have to do sometimes. Mm. Right, we'll watch but, out for the oil on the plastic. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And yeah, like how and also how is that for you? At first it was weird. Mm. Um, and I had to like remind myself that they were over 18 and consenting because they yeah. look so young. Yeah, some of those, some yeah. of those guys look. Mm. They look really, really young. And then like every so often you'll get and like and they'll just like fuck you in the right way where yeah. you're like, oh, I'm in. I don't even care that yeah. they look so young. So what's interesting is I've always gone after older around my age, mm -hmm. but after doing so many of these scenes, I remember going to like a Jiffy Lube or something mm -hmm. and the the um, the guy at the front was like younger and I had a moment of like, I'd fuck him. Yeah. Because I've been doing so many scenes with younger guys that I'm like now more sexually attracted to that yeah. than I was before. Like it's not still my preference, but like I'm still I, into it. No, I understand that because I've, I've worked with uh, uh, some girls that like, I remember going to the scene, I was like, yeah. Like yeah. you look so incredibly young. It's like it makes me feel right? weird. It's but uncomfortable. This particular right? girl yeah. came at me so fucking hard that you were in. And I, I think I had a boner for two hours. And it's <laughs> like I fucked her. It's a VR scene. Yeah. I do VR. Yeah. I do the VR position, and then we'd fuck off camera. Then yeah. we do VR, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like like it Those was like the best days. Yeah. yeah. It was like it was great. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? I, they feel pretty good to me. Yeah, you like that color. I like this color. Yeah, this is good. All right. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make all that too. So, but pull it okay. out. Okay, so pull put it out, here. put it on here. Okay. Trying not to drip it onto the... It's like all of the implements, that's so great. Mm. Okay. All right. Now, put the spider down. Okay. And I want you to do this part. Okay. So with tongs or with my finger? Just do it fast. Okay. Too fast. Okay. It just even, like if you put it in there, just rub it around. Like just take the it checks out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, I guess yeah, you could do that. Okay. Yeah, there. But you gotta do it fast while they're hot. Okay. So put both of them in there. Yeah. Get them up. So what you wanna do? Get, get, get it all the way there. So I love learning new things. Yeah. This is cool. Yeah, just kind of like if you want to grab them, just shove them in the fucking sugar. Yeah, just take like that. You're choking yeah. that. You're like they choke yeah. the sub. Choke the sub. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing femdom Fuck stuff yours. now, so Here. look at that. Here, it. Yeah. Take it, take yeah. it, take you it, dirty bitch. churro. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I did it. So what we're gonna do? I want you to break one in half, taste it. Okay. It's gonna be so hot. That was delightful. Yeah, so do you like that? Do you like the consistency? Do you like the crunch? What do you like? I like that it is a little soft inside. Ah. Well, they're going to be soft inside no matter what, but do you like the outside? Mm-hmm. Let's do the rest. Mm. I would also... I don't have a moment. Don't mind me. Not yet, you are. Mm. Oh, I love sweets so much. It's so good. Yeah. So, let's do the rest. Okay. Now I'm extra excited because they are good. So do smaller than that. Um, am I holding this right? Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is that not working? Okay, so smaller than that, like. So what? Get closer to the pan. Mm -hmm. That good? Do that. Yeah. Okay. And try to get them kind of far away from each other. Don't stick to each other. Yeah. This is almost the same way you make funnel cake. Yeah, that's yeah. what I've heard. It's the same, right? It's like the same kind of yeah. dough. There you go. Look at them puff up. That's crazy, huh? This is cute. They're so cute. And get one more in there. Okay. Yeah. How fun. Right? No. Ugh. I only had a protein bar today, so I was like, mm, that's, not, that's so good. Um, here's a fun one that I, I just like to think about. Um, have with onset, mm -hmm. like we all experience this because we're not, we are not a void of emotion. Right, void, devoid. Devoid, sorry. Mm -hmm. D, uh, yeah. we're not devoid of emotion, right? Yeah. Do you ever have those times where you're on set and you're staring at the person and you have those thoughts in your head like, <sighs> your heart goes and you're like having that moment in your own head and then you have to leave it on set? Do you know what I mean? Like in a, like in a good way, in like a sexual way? You, in a good way, like I've had times where I'm like, I can marry this girl, and then you get done coming oh, and fucking leave. Oh, interesting. Like, yeah. No, I don't. I don't have that like emotional romantic tie. Mm. I have like a very um, connected, intense, mm. like we're in this, and I'm very turned on. Yeah, yeah. Thing, but I've always been able to compartmentalize the like emotional aspect of it. I can like really enjoy somebody, yeah. but it always feels like. I don't know if bro is the right word, but it yeah, always yeah. feels like, fuck yeah, yeah and yeah. then, like, high five, we're done. Yeah. Like that. My intimacy happens, like, outside of... No, I understand that, like, you know, I've had plenty of times like that. I think there's yeah. a spectrum of, like, what I end up, you end up feeling, because I'm talking about, like, yeah. those good days where you're just like, this was the yeah. best. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Yeah. It's like, it never, it never transcends, this is super fun, buddy, kind yeah. of thing. For me, nice. personally. Which is kind of nice, actually. Um, but yeah, and I don't, I don't really get that kind of, I mean, I get like people being really horny with me. I don't know if I don't know if it's ever like transcended anything like that. Are we dipping things in you chocolate? You don't get that yet. No, I won't. <laughs> don't get it yet. I don't get it yet. No. Why? Go wait. That's like an interesting that. bitter um, cayenne with it. Okay. Mm. Would you have done it differently? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But that's also I. I'm not a huge chocolate fan. Okay. So I think. You t you taste it. You like it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the, it's okay. it's a it's a chocolate. It's enough. spicier than I was anticipating, yeah. which I'm a little bit of a baby about, but I liked it. But it's but with this, I think you're gonna like it. I I don't know that yet because you won't let me try it. I know. That feeling, that is what I like. I like that. 
I chase that. I have like an adrenaline rush. I'm chasing that sexual chemistry mm -hmm. and that adrenaline or the anticipation before you like first kiss somebody for the first time. Like yeah. I really love that. No, I, I that's one of the things I, I've, I've tried to explain to people is like this job's kind of like heroin in the sense mm -hmm. that you're always chasing that one scene. Yeah, or that, interesting. It's not the one scene because there's multiple mm -hmm. scenes like it. Yeah. Like I'm trying to chase that feeling. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The first time we got to work together, yeah. like that was good. And then yeah. we went to your house, and that was better. Yeah. And then the whole months we've had in between there, yeah. where it's like we've had this back and forth, where it's just staring at each other and just like wanting yeah. an animalistic yeah. feeling. Yeah. It's like you chase that feeling all the time. Yeah. And you don't have it with everybody. No. Like the nice thing about being on set and having them be like bigger sets and stuff too is that I get adrenaline from that too. Yeah. Or, I mean, even like the crew watching, I know they usually don't care and they're on their phones, but I'm like, everybody's in here and I'm fucking. Like, I love it. I think it's so much fun. Um, See, I prefer if I'm at a swinger party. Oh, yeah, we need to do that. Yeah, we should. I'm down. Because, you know I am. But because there's the difference. It's like a crew okay. don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's no. like, and I can, I can only yeah. do, they can only see me naked so many times with like, Nathan, Whatever. Don't yeah, we don't give care. A fuck, yeah. you know? Although every so often you'll get like a director or someone who makes a comment where they're just kind of like, oops, something moved in my pants a little bit. And you're yeah. like, gotcha. Yeah, I fucking got you. I got you. Yeah. Ugh, you see this all day, every day, but my pussy did a thing. Cool. Now, me and another girl were talking about this the other day. And there's a huge difference that we find in between American directors and European directors. Interesting. In the sense of the European directors are always like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Yeah. They're kind of like, do you yeah. prefer that kind of sleazy, I don't want to say sleazy European like it's a bad thing, I mean like in a good way where it's like where it's overtly sexual yeah. toward you yeah. I don't mind it as long as um, I'm not being like felt up or something you yeah, know no, what no, I mean? I'm saying not feeling right. up yeah, but yeah, just yeah, like yeah. they're into the scene you know? I, I like it, these. I like it when there is like a sense of like they're like oh god you're so like attractive or yeah. like, you know what I mean, like I, I like that, I have a praise kink I, you know, yeah, I'm into it um, but yeah I also I also am like just as happy when they're like, oh man, that shot was so great. Yeah. Or like, oh, that was perfect the way you like opened up that way. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it's this, it's the same for me. I don't like, I, I assume I'm being hired because they think people will jerk off to me and want to fuck me. Yeah. So I already assume there's something there. Mm -hmm. Um, so either way, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice to be wanted. Yeah. You know, of course. Of course. It's like. Of course, my horse. Whore. Horse. 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 What's something you would like to tell people, uh, or at least like, let's say new girls, right? Mm. About the job that they, that if they're thinking about getting, what would you tell them? Um, I would say like, make sure, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> you're just making funny faces at me. Um, I would say that, um, I'm trying to think, I know I'm looking, I am, I'm looking mm. over there. Okay. The whole time. Yeah. Hi. Hello, new girls. Uh, I would say make sure you have a community of people that you trust and that you build around you when you do this kind of work. Because, like, finding that on Twitter and finding other women who do this, I think is really important. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's hard for me because I'm older, right? So I, I don't get pushed around on sets. I don't get, like, coerced into anything. No one tries anything extra with me. And I think it might be a little bit different for younger girls. So yeah. I worry about that. I also am really glad I got in at 25 and not 18. Mm. So like my first sexual experiences weren't on camera, mm -hmm. you know, or a few of my first ones weren't uh, because I think it desensitizes you to just walking up, not really knowing somebody and like grabbing their dick for pictures. I think that's really kind of intense for like an 18 year old, mm -hmm. you know? So I just caution people to really know themselves and know their sexuality before getting into the industry. Yeah. Great. Um, also, on that same note, I've had this happen a handful of times, and me and uh, another performer were talking about this, that he was on set, mm -hmm. girl, they're doing a VR scene, he's trying to move the girl in the right spot, yeah. and she's like, camera's on, don't touch me. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And how do you yeah. feel about the culture that we're in right now when it comes to, like, that? Consent the, and touch the, like, and all of that, yeah. Agree? Consent yeah. is what we need. We right. need consent on yep. a lot of things, because, you know, people need that. But yeah. also, at a certain level... We are doing fucking porn. Right. There, it, it becomes weirdly gray and weirdly nuanced, right? Yes. Because what you want is you want the guy's dick to work, mm -hmm. and it helps to have a connection yes. so that it does, right? Yes. So if you look at it purely from a business perspective, even if you're not, like, super horny, yeah. then fine, right? Um, 
but I think that we've entered into a period of overcorrection, which I would prefer. Or I would prefer somebody asking me 10 times on set how, if I'm comfortable and if I'm okay and if that position's okay and yeah. are you sure you're consenting to being touched. I'd rather that mm -hmm. than feel uncomfortable or like someone was pressuring me into something and then like have it ruin the job for me because of one mm -hmm. creepy dude. I, I think it's fine that it's an overcorrection. I think it will kind of go the like center a little bit at some point. Out. Yeah. So take them out, you know what to do. I do know what to do. Should I like just do a couple at a time so that they're still hot when I go in the sugar? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. I'll just do like three. Um, yeah, so I think it's a really tough thing for men to navigate probably. Yeah. I would imagine, right? Just, just throw them all in. Just throw them all in. Mm. Okay. It's not the easiest. Right, because you don't know, and then it's like, I'll be on set, and I'm like, okay, I want, like, they'll ask me my do's and don'ts, right? Because, like, we usually do that. Um, and I'll say, like, well, I kind of prefer, like, a little bit more aggressive, yeah. right? Um, and so, but then they'll be, like, super, super careful with me still. And I understand it because they don't know my limits and stuff, but then I don't really get what I want out of it. Yeah. But, you know, so it is, it's a delicate balance, I think. Yeah, I think it's something that is... It's a weird place for everyone in this job to be in, and we have not figured it out like, to the extent. Right. Um, I don't think the solution is don't don't you dare touch anybody unless the camera's on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think, and I've also been on sets where I can tell the guy is maybe in a relationship where he's not super comfortable with off-camera touching, and I am aware of that, but you need to be like hyper aware of the other person's comfort, Yeah. Um, and not everybody is. I think the guys are really careful, and I think that's better than them not being careful enough. Oh, no, 100%. Yeah. I think that the, the big thing that we have all run into as of the last couple of years is just such bad communication. Yeah. And um, I know the guys have it. I know the girls got it. Yeah. And I know everyone's just absolute fucking garbage at this. Um, <laughs> and I it mean, makes I've it... had pretty good experiences with it, but I also am very enthusiastic. I've also been on sets where I've been in a relationship and I like yeah. only am allowed in my relationship to do fluffing or, you know what I mean? Like... Um, and on camera, nothing else, kind of, you know? So yeah. it's hard It's hard to navigate um, other people's kind of rules and boundaries, yeah. right? But I don't think the solution is only touching on camera. I think it's like learning your partner and being a little bit more cautious near the beginning. Mm -hmm. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I think that... that like 100% here. Yeah, true. I, uh, I personally wish there was a little bit more just want. Right, and I think that's what... It, so that sucks for uh, you, right? Yeah. <laughs> it does. It sucks for yeah. you. But for me, when I'm on set and I love sex and the money is secondary for me, like with this industry, I do it because I love being on camera. I love sex. I love that connection with people. Um, so for me, it's kind of fun because then someone's like... <laughs> surprised or delighted that I'm enthusiastic about it because they're not as used to it. Oh, yeah, no, it's, you know? it's absolutely but if, amazing. But it would be great if you had it more often, I think. So. Yeah, I would uh, absolutely love it. You, you know how to make a fireplace where you're making the, the stacking them up? Yeah. Like Lincoln logs? Yeah. Give me that. Okay. It's like a little tree, usually. Mm. Let's see. I never really played with Lincoln Logs or Legos as a kid. So. <laughs> that is 100% not even close to what I said. What? It is too. When uh, you make a fireplace. Uh, uh, what? Uh, okay. Okay. But when, you, when you're building a fire, you so, do it like yeah. this. Wait. Okay. So let me just do something real fast. Okay. 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 So what I was talking about was making a log cabin scenario like that. Oh, you make weird fires. This is on you. No. Because this is where you put the, you put uh, paper in the middle. Oh, you're supposed to make a little tent. This is, I'll teach you. It's fine. I, okay. <laughs> so. That does look very nice. Yeah. Yeah, trip it on there. Try. Yeah, it's a nice and wet. Yeah. Like that. I sometimes feel like I'm like a horny 15 year old boy inside a 38 year old woman's body. Super hot. Is that? Is it? I don't know. I'm never the little word. Um, you know. Oh, and then with it sprinkled on top, delightful. I love this. 
I should have made some whipped cream. Fuck! What the fuck? Everything's ruined. I know. It's not actually. That looks amazing. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. I almost knocked it over. I know. All right. You want to try? Yeah, I do want to try. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. You like the you like chocolate? Mm hmm. No. That's good. Oh, it's got that little kick to it, which mm. I like. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Puddles, no. Not mm. for you, puddles. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Almost as good as sex. Mm. Almost. Almost. Wow, that does have a kick. Mm. Yeah. It's good. Mm. Tell them where we can find you. Mmm. Over here. <laughs> um, you can find me on Twitter. It's underscore Sophia Locke. Underscore. On OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. The Sophia Locke. TikTok. Sophia Locke underscore. It's a lot of underscores. You can just Google Sophia Locke and then that way you can see all my not safe for work stuff too. Fuck if yeah. you want. Yeah. Uh, is there anything new coming out that you want to tell everyone about? Um, not that I can think of. I'm hanging out in LA and just working a ton and I'm excited for you all to see all the scenes that mm. I'm doing, so. Aren't we all? I'm very excited about seeing you soon. <laughs> I'm excited for you to be in some. Oh, right, hopefully God. I don't know, it'd be really nice. All right. Thank you for showing me things. No problem. I really appreciate sure. it. I want to show you something in a little bit. Okay. Um, also, big thanks to Judy. Thanks, Judy. Thank you so much for watching an episode of Cooking with Nathan. Our cameras are dysfunctional on that side, so now we're going to do this in there. If you watch this episode and you like it, please like, subscribe, follow. Also, check out our fan page, because the more you help us, the more we're able to put into this show, the more time, more effort, the more people, the more uh, bigger guests. We can put all that stuff there. Not that you're not a big guest and love you so much. How dare you. Um, also, guys, check out my fan page, or check out the uh, merch store. Awesome shirts. Great material, love wearing them, except for today, it's too fucking hot. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys all later because I want to go have sex with this woman right here because she's fucking hot. <sighs> Let's do that, please. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Eat it. Oh, I can't want to eat more of this. It's so good.